Okay. Controlling, remember we controlled the pants. Ah, this is the good omoplata, meaning the good omoplata, the arm is across, we sit up for the power C, and I break him over. This is a fantastic move, specifically the power C part. Then, we looked at what happens when you go through this series, right? I come here, and I can't get close to the legs because he plays in the middle. He doesn't want to turn towards me, turn towards me, because there's your triangle. And he doesn't want me to sit up towards the legs, so what he does is he starts to sit up a little bit, but he doesn't turn in. So I bring my leg over, I triangle my legs underneath that far one, I bow the knee, and we hit the spicy dog. Then they get wise to that. They don't want that, right? So they keep their head low, and we turn in here, and we're talking about some armbar concepts. What you need to realize is that when I start to grab this arm, it doesn't take a rocket scientist for me to just try and break it here and bend the wrist. Those are real problems from the omoplata when the arm is exposed. So while I have this arm, it's very common for them to step over top of that arm. Uh-oh, now I need to know how to finish this, right? So I push, turn, because this is the piece that everybody's missing, right? I need to push my far knee to the far shoulder without extending my body. What most of you are doing is this. And then there's no way that you can push your pelvis any further forward. So when you're in this position and you push the hips across, then I start to get this, right? But the problem is that the hand pops out a lot of times in the middle of that, and you can't finish this. Turn. At the higher levels, when I've done that and my body is arched, look at how much further I am down by the feet. Bang. Right, we start to come here. Lower level, right? Oh, this pops out right back to the power C and I pull him over, right? But more importantly, he's not a dummy. He knows that he's about to get in trouble and so the primary escape from Amaplata is what? Secondary, that, that's third, forward roll second. Primary is step over to the other side. If I come into the omoplata and he steps over to the other side, then I'm starting to get crushed in side control. That should be number one. Step back. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> right? So number two would be I start to come here, he does a front roll because he doesn't feel like he can get over. Back up. Number three, he puts his head under the bus and turns to the far side. In that order. Right? So I know, come back up, I know that he likes to step over. Go ahead and step over. That's when I start to hit my power sweep, right? And we're not going to hit the arm bar, but the sweep that we're going to do. Come here, close our face. Who remembers this sweep from the leg weave? Here, where the leg is across the chest. Doesn't matter if he's 600 pounds from here, I'm going to take him over. My knee is in the armpit across the same exact way when I drive my knee up. The problem is, that most of you leg weave on the other side. So this is an offside sweep. And so I need to be cognizant or ready for when I come in here. If I come to this and he go, starts to step over, right? Go ahead, uh, step over my head. So when he steps over, this is that same position. So from here, I just arch him over. There's no way that he's gonna be able to stop going over. That is a top three power sweep. Does that make sense? All right, get out of here for one second. So let's talk. What I'm trying to do is build pathways for you. This week's about omoplatas. So I start in the basic omoplata, the one that we don't do very often where we have to sit up and reach over. It's hard to do. So I showed you the good omoplata, the power C one, right? The power C, in my, uh, my opinion, because of the way that it's positioned, right? Now we've looked at the spicy dog, right? We've looked at the power sweep, and we've looked at the arm bar. Over here is the toe hold too. For some of you, that's an option, and it's not. The problem is that from the basic uh, omoplata, I can't really get to the toe hold. I can't really get to the power sweep. I can get to the, the spicy dog or that arm bar that's underneath the other side. But when we come to the power C and we're hugging, 
it opens up more pathways for us to go. And what you need to understand is these aren't just one way. We don't just step to the spicy dog, right? What we can do is we can go to the spicy dog, but then we can go to that power sweep and we can go to these other things and we find that we stay in this same area walking around. Does that make sense? And so what happens when I show you guys that arm bar? It's low percentage. But what you're not realizing is it's masking your body from going from 90 degrees back to parallel at 180 degrees. And so when they see, Daniel, one more time, or feel, when I come, and I come to this, he's worried about the arm bar. He's worried about me ripping this off, so he steps over top of it, right? Oh, well then I can just power see you over and take you up on top. That was kind of a blend between that power sweep, the one where you invert with the shin across the chest, and the power C breakdown. It felt like, oh, your arm can't go anywhere. And so it's very natural for you to look at that one piece and go like, I'm not good at this move. It's not about being good at the move. It's about masking the motion where you can go back from 90 back to parallel, and they're thinking arm bar, and you're thinking, I'm gonna rip their foot off, I'm gonna get them to roll over, I'm gonna I'm a plot of them. I want you to advance your position, threatening a submission. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. All right. I know it's not intuitive. If it was, you wouldn't be here training. All right, guys. Uh, we're not going to shake hands. We're just going to clap out. If you need water, let's get it against the wall. Ready? One, two.